You know what? I, I keep that up there because it looks like an award or, you know, a diploma, something like that. It's actually a Beatles poster. Very nice. But it looks impressive. Very nice. It looks like Very a nice. At least right you're not there. drinking uh, spiked eggnog like Orem. <laughs> AK, any, any truth <laughs> to the rumor that uh, you also signed for five years with us to be a guest on our show? Is that, is that accurate? <sighs> If you'll have me, all I right. want it longer. All right. Keep we'll, it out. We'll, we'll talk to AJ. It, listen, guys, it's the day we've all been waiting for. <laughs> AD is back He's with back. the purple and gold. It's a five-year max contract with LA for AD, and here's the numbers breakdown. Starting this season, Davis will make $32.7 million, and it goes up every year from there. A total of five years, $190 million. AD will have a player option for the 2024-25 season at $43.2 million. I can hear the songs now. AD is here to stay. Anthony Davis, thanks for joining us. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, you kept a lot of people in suspense. There were rumors, uh, there were theories. Um, some people were nervous, possibly. Was there any doubt in your mind after winning the chip that you were coming back to Los Angeles to play for the Lakers? Um, you know, I just wanted to take the process one day at a time. Uh, obviously, winning a championship with L.A. Uh, was very great. Uh, the team, you know, Rob put together and, and Jeannie put together that, and, and Linda and all the people in the front office was, was amazing. And uh, we did something special. Uh, especially with everything going on in 2020. So um, I don't think it was a doubt that I was you know, going to come back. It was just um, trying to figure out all the logistics and uh, what, you know, what was best for me and my family. And, um, you know, I was able to get a deal done today. So uh, I'm excited about that, excited to be, uh, you know, in what does call the big three <laughs> with him, <laughs> myself, and Bron. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a great time. We've got a, a, another great task ahead of us. The team um, is looking great. Um, guys are working out, so I'm excited. What can you share, Anthony, about that process and why you ultimately decided on five years? Um, L.A. is a place I want to be. Um, they do a great job of, uh, you know, Daddy, yes. do the video. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy, <laughs> There's your agent right there. This is my agent right here. <laughs> um, and so, um, just doing a, they did a great, they're doing a great job of just putting, you know, the team together. Um, like I say, it's a place where, I, you know, I love to be. I'm out here in the summers um, and now living out here full time for the next, you know, five years. So. Uh, I thought it was just a great, a great thing to to go five years and and, and be here uh, in a place that I love and and don't plan on going anywhere. So, um, you know, why not maximize the most um, out of this opportunity? Anybody who's ever watched you guys play together, LeBron James and Anthony Davis, what a special chemistry on and off the court. He's now locked in for three more with you. How important was that to you? To be honest, I didn't know what LeBron had going on. Um, I didn't know he was signing a deal, you know, you know, Rich doesn't involve me with, you know, his bronze contract and his business. Um, I found out the day everyone else found out that LeBron was, you know, signed to 248. I mean, two, sorry, 248. I'm so sorry, LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Were you surprised um, was, at the extension? Um, I wasn't. I mean, I, I know he still loves the game. He's ready to, you know, continue to play basketball for the Laker organization. Um, you know, obviously he talked about being able to play basketball with his son. And um, I wasn't surprised by the extension. You know, you know, like I said, I've been doing something special like that with a great group of guys and then having another great group of guys this year. Um, it's hard to, to leave, you know, L.A. Nation. AD, I know how difficult it is to say goodbye to friends and teammates, especially uh, after you win a championship. You're really close with those guys. But there are some new, exciting additions. Uh, Montrez Harrell, Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Saul, Wesley Matthews, just to name a, a few. Uh, were you surprised by any of those? Or which ones kind of jumped out at you? Um, I think the Dennis uh, surprised me the most, um, just from the fact that you know, I didn't expect it, you know, for it to happen. Now, you hear rumors and things like that, but, you know, you don't really get get involved because you don't know what's real and what's not. And when I seen that trade go through, I was like, wow, like, we really just got Dennis Schroeder. So, um, you know, somebody that is, is tough on defensive end, um, great offensively, um, you know, 
scrappy, you know, the same way we, you know, we played last year, he fits right into that mode. So, um, like I said, you lose a lot of guys and, you know, we wish, you know, Doe, DG, um, QC, Dwight, Vail, all those guys, uh, AB, um, you know, luck with their respective teams. But, um, and, and without those guys, we wouldn't be able to win a championship for sure. Um, but we added, you know, some guys in to, um, you know, to take on their roles. And uh, I think we, we did really good. AD, I know it's hard to imagine that preseason is about a week away. Uh, what did you do to get away from the game after the championship? Um, took a couple of vacations, uh, kind of just let my body heal, but not much. I mean, we didn't have that much time. Like I said, we started, you know, next week, a couple of weeks, getting right back after it. So, you know, the most I did was kind of just chill at home, you know, get the time to see my family again. As you see, the little one came in here. <laughs> it was good spending time with her. Um, and just trying to, you know, get ready for next season. Um, I know it's going to be a short, a shorter season and um, a quick turnaround for us, but uh, ready to get going. Last one from me. When we interviewed you on set media day just over a year ago, there was a yeah. look in your eye. You were driven. You were motivated. There was only one purpose. Now that you've held the Larry O'Brien trophy in your hands, how motivated are you? I'm very motivated. I want to do it again. Um, you know, when we won a Western Conference Finals, Ron said, just wait till you win a championship and you hold that trophy. You know, your love uh, for winning just, just grows. And... Ever since holding that trophy, I, I, I just want to do it again. You know, you want to hold that trophy over and over and over, and you get addicted to winning. So um, I, want, I want that feeling again. I want to be able to hold that Larry, Larry O'Brien trophy again and, and, you know, become a meme where I'm, I'm crying and people are <laughs> using it for everything. So um, those, those are good memes. So um, I'm, I'm ready, for, I'm ready to, to get started again. I'm ready to get with this, this group of guys and, and get back to work so be able to, uh, um, you know, hoist one of those trophies again. Laker Nation, I got great news for you. AD is here to stay. Anthony Davis, congratulations, my man, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, that was AD, and, and I think we were all expecting a shorter contract, yeah. maybe the two plus one uh, Brez, but he goes with the max five year, 190 million. It's a good day to be Anthony Davis, and it sure is a good day to be a Laker fan. Yeah, second time this week the front office pulled off yet another surprise. I mean, who thought that they would give uh, LeBron an extension? Uh, what, what a great, great day that was. And then this happens. For sure, I thought it was going to be a two year. Plus, maybe a one-year player option on top of that because AD could have made more money if he had uh, re-signed after his 10th year in the league, two years from now. Uh, but he doesn't care about dollars and cents, does he? You know, listening to him in your very good interview right there, he said he's kind of getting addicted to winning championships. All it took was one. So he says, all right, let me look around here. Uh, we have a, a very good front office, good ownership. Uh, LeBron James is back for a while. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, out of nowhere, another good acquisition by the front office, Montrez Harrell. A surprise uh, pick at uh, uh, at the mid-level exception. And all of a sudden, this is a very good team on, on paper. It's better than it was a year ago, I would say. This signing, AK, what does it mean for the Laker organization? Well, I mean, you get Anthony Davis locked up in his prime. You know, a top five player in the league. In a couple of years, he could very well be the best player in the league. And there's a huge advantage for the Lakers knowing that they have him and LeBron locked up in terms of just their long-term planning. Like they, they, they have concrete numbers now for the next three to five years, and they don't have to deal with player options. They don't have to deal with potentially changing numbers. And as long as they had those two, they weren't gonna have cap flexibility anyway, because those guys are gonna take up a large chunk of the cap as well they should. So if you're not gonna have that, what you really want is concrete information. So having those guys locked up the way I don't even know if the Lakers expected would be the case. That does Rob Palinka a major service. Like, it's really great for him in terms of his long-term planning. You know, Brez, you and AK are talking. It's LeBron locked up for three, AD for five, and I'm coming to the realization that LeBron and AD have three strong years coming yeah. together. Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, probably the title favorites this year. Yeah, I mean, you're in it every game with these two. Absolutely. I mean, two of the top five players in the game side by side yet again after going 16 and five in the playoffs just a couple short months ago. And, and everyone in the NBA is probably going, oh, 
this is bad. You know, these two together, <laughs> I'm stunned. I really thought that LeBron would wait another year or so uh, and see what he wants to do with his future. Loves it here in L.A., obviously a very good franchise. But for him to lay his cards on the table and then A.D. does it a day later, this is really a great, great week for the Lakers. And again, the, the front office really making great moves the last couple weeks. It sends a message, A.K., these two want to play.